Hello everyone and welcome to the Louis Jordan Experience. I'm Louis. Can we do that again? Because <laughs> you do that every time. What yeah, the Jordan. Let's be a bit upbeat for once, yeah? I can't. <laughs> can't do it. This is the final Let's recording of the day, okay? Ready? Oh, Hello everyone and welcome to the Louis Jordan Experience. I'm Louis. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> and this is episode... I don't, I don't know. know. The egg will tell us. The egg will tell us. Um, and we were talking about soundtracks today. Because soundtracks. films have a lot of good soundtracks. All films have got soundtracks as well. All films, yeah. That's true. Mm. But, I think not all films have good soundtracks. I, was gonna I say. think there's a difference. There's, um, there's soundtracks as um, sort of like Spaghetti Western soundtracks where mm -hmm. it's sort of all, um, violins and stuff or whatever, right? Right. Uh, but then there's also popular culture music like sort of Danny Boyle or Big right, right. Right or Tarantino does. Yeah. Let's sort of do two different soundtracks. Yeah. Two yeah. true. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer a certain... Type? No, I think music music, yeah. Yeah. But I think there's a difference between actual film music made for films and then actual songs, radio songs that are put into the film. Right. Like Tantino. Yeah. Um, Obviously Baby Driver as well. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that one, yeah. Baby Driver is a good example of that. Yeah. Of how, it, like, Quite every scene is, it, it works around the song. Yeah, the main chosen. bang is the song, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's just, that's amazing, I think. I think that's yeah. the best use of it, personally. Or do you disagree? I, don't know, I think it's a clever idea. I think it's, it's different to everything else. I don't think it's a great film, personally. I know, you say that. I don't know if you've mentioned it in the podcast before, but... I don't think I have. Right, why don't you think it's a good film? Because he tried to do something different. Right. And it, it doesn't... And maybe he shouldn't... He should have, but then he shouldn't have. I don't know, it's been, it's been a bit sort of... Um, going back on himself a little bit. And, Can't I, I just explain. think it's, he tries to do something different, yeah. but then it's just sort of the same as everything else. I don't as think well. so. I think it is. Mm. I mean, I think, yeah, OK, so doesn't... if you take away the whole music part of it, yeah, it is... Yeah, but then but then it has got his flavour to it as well. But not I think as that's quite not maybe not as quite. Not, no, I agree. I wouldn't say it's an egg the right. We tried doing something different with it, like yeah. But I think I think that. like the whole point of it is that the music is the star is just as much I a star that, of it. Yeah. So I don't know. You can't really have it without it, and I think I don't know. I can't really explain, but I don't know. Is it, I yeah I know what you're getting at like it is sort yeah, of see, that's what I mean. No, you're only getting that, but I think it's still amazing, right? So yeah. I was gonna say other Edgar Wright films um, have some good soundtracks as well. Pop the Shaun of the Dead scene where they're chucking records. Oh yeah. At the zombies, yeah, and they're like Sade and the Batman theme tune and yeah, and Prince and stuff. Like, I was thinking of I was thinking of one where they go um, Sade. Which one is it? It's um, uh, Don't Stop Me Now. Is that what it was? Yeah. That song. And they were hitting, the hitting yeah. to the beat of that, yeah. Yeah, it's got a little, yeah. That's a good one. Um, I mean, I can't really remember any specific, like, like the, the the whole soundtrack. I can't remember the whole soundtrack to to the Cornetto trilogy, to be honest. Like, what I couldn't... There's not, many, not much in that, is there? Is there any music uh, in that? Yeah, I'm sure there is, like, near the end or something. It probably is the Bad Boys song, don't they not? Maybe. Bad Boys, Bad Boys. Is that how it goes, yeah? I don't know. Because yeah, they, they do. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I'm sure they did. Because yeah. they, they kept. Yeah, and obviously, Wild's End is. Like, that's like yeah. the same thing as, as sort of Nick Love or Danny Boyle, where he's, he's using sort of suede and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like, like um, nostalgic stuff in it. Yeah, like, like a lot of, sort of like, like, late 80s, 90s. Yeah. And stuff like that. Quite exactly, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, that's what it's all about. But um, I think that's the best one because it. Because, well, in terms of soundtracks, because it utilizes that. Yeah. Um, what was it I was going to say? I'm certain that the they use the Magic Roundabout music, the theme yeah. song from you know Magic Roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they use the theme song in in the soundtrack. In what? In World's End. World's End yeah. yeah. Like I hear it. Like every time I hear it, I'm like, that's Magic Roundabout, definitely. Oh, from the old because I watched it like a little bit because my mum used used to watch it when she was a kid, so she showed me yeah. some of Magic Roundabout. Anyways, um, any more from oh Scott Pilgrim as well. That's yeah, a great yeah, one. On I mean, I mentioned that before. Yeah, but um, yeah. Yeah, it has a great soundtrack, I think, personally. Yeah, yeah and, and you like and the way it's it's not it's actually created for the film, but then it's a band. Yeah. Which is, is sort of flipping well, it has, what we're saying. It's, it's sort of flipping the idea yeah. of 
it's band music, but then it's the band is made for the film. Yeah, yeah. Always... Any more? Oh, got... what of normal? Yeah, any any soundtracks? Uh, yeah. Because um... I was thinking. Was you train spotting? Yes, people that's, that's what I was like thinking. Six, mm-hmm. Which you know, Iggy Pop and you know, obviously the new one. I like the way how they, they a lot of the, the new T two soundtrack is a lot of the remixes from the old. Oh. Right. I think that's quite clever, and obviously yeah. got a Wolf Alice Silk on it, which uh, not they didn't know there was on it. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's one. It's what do you mean? Of, they didn't realise until they were told. They wasn't. They didn't. You know, it was. Yeah. No, we're not about. Uh, we're not about. There's a song in the film. They didn't know it was in it. Yeah, until they showed him the film. Oh, Wolf Alice didn't know it was in it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I get you. So I thought the, the people, they, they the people making, the, yeah, the, the people made the film, and like, they're like, oh shit, yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. No, no, I meant the band. <laughs> Yeah, all right, okay. But they were um, happy with that, yeah? They didn't Yeah, mind. I thought, like, yeah. How is that possible? Like, sure, you'd have to ask permission, no? Or pay for it? Yeah, but it's, it's probably the company that would have written off the back. Oh, right. Yeah, fair enough. Um, that makes yeah. sense, yeah. But yeah, all, yeah, obviously, yeah. Okay. Do you like, be like, yeah, you like that one? I'm obviously Quentin Tarantino as well. Yeah. Obviously, Reservoir Dog uses a lot of um, sounds in the 70s. Yeah. I, personally, I don't think... I can't think of an, of a, a Tarantino film where it uses it, like well, in my opinion. Obviously, Chuck Berry. In it's got like it's the got dance good... scene. It's no, the one the most okay. greatest, yeah, yeah. top three scenes of all it's... cinema. Okay, fair enough, right? But for me personally, yeah, yeah, I've just felt like they never really used it as well as like Edgar Wright no. uses it or something like that. Do you no, know what no, I mean? no, yeah, I know what you mean. Like I literally can't think of any. Like yeah. even even though you know, Pop Fiction like, is that song that's in it. Isn't it, is it, is it fame, like, did it come from Pulp Fiction, or was it made for Pulp Fiction? Oh, no. That's not What's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Um, that's really It's not, it's not. It goes, ding, 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 ding. That song, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, is it? That's not our one. It's not Chuck Berry. It's Black Eyed Peas. Is it? Okay. That's the Black Eyed Peas song. Is it? That's that's a pop fiction song, isn't it? It's like, it's that's the yeah, main theme that's the song. main theme song. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm trying, trying to say. Sorry. Dance. No, 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 sorry. But I mean, that song, right? Does it come from Pulp Fiction or, or do they take that from the background? I don't know. I don't know if they made it for the film. No, that's, what, sure. I'm, that's what I'm thinking though. But like, that's that's one comes. That's the first one that comes to mind for me. Yeah. But they only use it just like to introduce the title, basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just Obviously being a bit too harsh. Obviously, Kill Bill one, two, three. Is it called one, two, three? One, two, three, four, five, something. Like the band in um, The Crazy Eight Eight. Um, come in right. in the first one and they got the band playing as well and it literally he walked into um, he was in Japan yeah. and he went into um, a shop and he had it on Right. he was like oh where can I buy a CD and I said oh I don't think you can and they literally gave the store copy to him Right. so he, you know, he actually had him in the film oh, right. as well <laughs> I just think yeah maybe Did he hasn't got but he's still got a, a significant significance yeah, yeah. It's, it's iconic yeah, yeah of course but I, not doesn't use it as much as a character does as in the work. Yeah. Which, I mean, I, I, not saying that's a bad thing. I guess I'm just comparing it too much. I think it's too harsh on Tarantino. Yeah. I don't, I, but I <clears throat> I feel like you should be critical of him because he's so highly regarded. Because he's brilliant. Because he is brilliant, yes. I love him. Yeah. I'm just a bit jealous. Obviously, Hateful Eight. Who did the soundtrack of Hateful Eight? I can't pronounce his name. To be honest, I don't remember the soundtrack to that, but I'll um, find out. Well, it was his first Oscar, wasn't it? Oh really? Oh yeah, it was yeah. Um, obviously, did all the spaghetti western, didn't he? You know, um, I'm gonna find out. I don't know. That's why Quentin Tarantino wanted to do the Hateful Eight. Oh, sorry, that's the one you sent me. Yeah, yeah sorry, Eni- Ennio Morricone. Yeah, or M- Morricone. That's like that. I cannot pronounce that at all. Mar- Morricone. Um, I don't know. Obviously, he does the he does um, music for films. He's a film composer, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, composer. Obviously, yeah. they're brilliant because they're not. They're not not boring, but not um, filmy. Right. They're quite high, they're quite sort of energetic. I think. Yeah. They fit well. The Revenant, <clears throat> The Revenant in twenty fifteen, right? Yeah. Um, that had a really good soundtrack. I think. I think it's they don't really use a lot of the music, right? It's mostly the same track over and over again. Yeah. Same like five ten minute long track, but it's just really like powerful. Yeah. I'm gonna find out who did it. Um, that film's actually is amazing. I haven't seen it since, but. Oh, have you? I don't know if you'd seen it. I can't remember if you'd seen it, sorry. 
Yeah, 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 of course. Of course, you got a hard on for, for Hardy. Yeah, I've got it. Screenplay, no. What the fuck am I looking for? Soundtrack. Google Music. Um, the two people. Oh, fuck off, Google. It's... Uh, I'm not going to try pronouncing it. Some, the, the guy's name is Sakamoto. That's his last name. Yeah. And some guy called Noto as well. Obviously, Hans Zimmer as well does a lot of good soundtracks. Hans Zimmer is like one of the best, I yeah. think. Definitely. Obviously, um, the only one I, I can remember is sort of Dunkirk. Yeah. And, you know, it's good sound. Yeah, he does all of the Ireland's ones, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, he does quite a lot. There's another there's one else I was thinking. John Williams as well. Huh? There's another new one as well. What? The film he was in, I watched recently, I can't remember. Can't. Yeah, John Williams, yeah. John Williams, yeah. Star Trek. But he does all Star the Trek. iconic... Star Wars. <laughs> he does all the classic ones, doesn't he? All, like, all... Yeah. He's got the most iconic Gladiator. music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Superman, Star Wars. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Fucking... Did you do Batman? No, that was Hans Zimmer, wasn't it? Yeah. He obviously knew one. What else John Williams done? There's another one I was thinking of. Don't know. I also like the Taxi Driver soundtrack. All right. And Mark's crazy. It's not, um, it's obviously fixed, but it goes really well with the city mm. and the lights and the rain and the, and the darkness of it. Yeah. I, I like that, yeah. It's a good soundtrack. I don't think I remember that music. It's just, yeah, it just, it's so well, it just goes with it. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not sort of... That's true. Just goes yeah. With if it, 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 it can be too overwhelming sometimes, can't it? Like, yeah. it takes over. It's if a it... horror soundtrack as well. So they do. Yeah. They pour on it. It goes, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Where that, it just feels like it's part of the atmosphere. It feels yeah. part of it. Mm. It's actually John, I think it's... it's well, I'd say that's, that's something Hans Zimmer does well, going back to him, is he's very good at atmospheric stuff, I think. Yeah. And I think his best work was in Man of Steel. Because right. as, as, as bad as you say that film is, as most people say that film is, um, the soundtrack is amazing. I think it's one of the best soundtracks yeah. ever made, made personally, movie. because it's just like it's really it evokes a lot of emotion. I think that film. Yeah. The, the music, sorry. Well, the film does, but yeah, the music definitely helps it. I think. Um, even his other stuff like Batman v Superman, um, like that's that's still yeah. got a great soundtrack as well. That's a lot. Of, yeah, yeah. A lot of... He did. He did it. He did the music for Dark Knight as well, didn't he? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, like, that's good soundtrack as well. Definitely. Stuff like that. The Dark Knight trilogy, I should say, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, Han, yeah, it's Hans Zimmer does loads of shit. Yeah. I'd say even the Wonder Woman soundtrack's really good as well. I think, yeah. personally. It's not, that's more of a standard one, but it's not particularly it's amazing. Sort of but, music, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Um, sorry, going back to what you were saying? What was I saying? Don't know. <laughs> I'm in Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I know. I listen to Hans Zimmer's um, Man of Steel though a lot. I listen to that soundtrack like a lot. Yeah. Do you mind if I name a specific track? Yes, you must. <laughs> There's a specific track. I think it's called Goodbye My Son. That's what it's right. called. And that one, I I think that's my favourite one out of the whole yeah. thing. So I'm going to probably put that in description. Because, so. that, yeah, I'd say that's, that's probably one of my favourite pieces of music. Still as well. Huh? Um, what? Reservoir Dogs. Oh, right, Reservoir Dogs. So I, yeah. think, I was going to really sing, like, thinking about it. So you'd say that's your favourite track from a film, yeah? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I okay, cool. Why, that's good. I think we should, say, yeah. Yeah, we should say that. Yeah. Um, one other one I would want to mention, I guess more of an honourable mention, is Randy Newman. You know him, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he, do, he did all three Toy Story films, I think. Oh. Pretty sure he did, yeah. Um, he, does, he does a few other Pixar films as well, um, but um, I think he's just really great. Like, he, did, he did Bugs Life. Don't know if he did Finding Nemo. He did Monsters Inc. as well, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that rhymed. Um, but yeah, I just think I think he's, he does he does like nice upbeat sort of very, yeah. but he can also do some really emotional stuff as well, especially in the third Toy Story. Like yeah, that music's on point. Yeah. Um, Gary, New uh, Gary Newman should do all music, but he doesn't. No one asks him. No. No. Oh. He should do. Cause I think he's brilliant with all music. He did The Unborn in 91, which is a really weird horror film. People have seen it. We might do a podcast now. It's really weird. But, um, yeah, you should do it. Let's talk about people who, who haven't done film music. You right. Should. Yeah. Not for this one, though, yeah? Or do you want to do it for this one? No, I'm just saying. Okay. That's all I want to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, so I was just trying to think. Randy Newman, right? Just going oh, back sorry. to him, sorry, because yeah. I was thinking. Um, I saw Cars 3 recently. And he did the soundtrack for that, but I didn't know until the end. 
right? Right. Um, but every time I heard the music, like every time, like there was a certain, I don't know, if it was a certain track or something. But like it, it sounded like Toy Story. I kept thinking this sounds like Toy Story. And then it got to the end. I was like, oh shit, Ronnie Newman did it. Well, it makes sense now. So I guess he just has that sort of style. It's just, he can like I could tell because it sounds similar. Yeah. But. Saying that though, like he, the songs that he does, like if he does actual like lyrical songs, are really great. I think like in Toy Story, you got Stranger Things and no, not Stranger Things. That's a TV show. Strange Things. Um, you know, obviously you got a friend in me. There's yeah, We Belong Together at the end of the third Toy Story film. Yeah. That's a good song as well. Um, but yeah, those songs are great. I think like there's some yeah. really good songs. Different, yeah, different landscape. But did you know he also did a song about how. Midgets who kill themselves. So. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah. In 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 conclusion, Jordan. Um, you like film music? It's a lot, yeah. about, a lot about it as well because there's a lot of TV shows who use it. And stuff. Yeah, like theme songs are great. Like, I was, yeah, I keep thinking that um, be, you know, going off of what we were talking about with Netflix and stuff, right? Um, with binge watching, right? Best my 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 favorite part about binge watching TV shows is hearing the theme song every time you watch an yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Like specifically, uh, I remember when I watched Prison Break and when I watched Arrow. Like those theme songs were just great to see over and over. Let's talk about theme songs. Then. Just quickly. <laughs> no, no that's list. it. That's all I have to say. We did a list of theme songs. Didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did yeah, we like with cartoons and stuff. Yeah. 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 Don't know if we did. We did. Just quickly. Quickly I, I don't know, I ain't got any. Um, Scooby Doo, and it's still music. Isn't it? Yeah, I think we did. We mentioned Scooby Doo before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, tunes. yeah. Just trying to think of like other ones that were great for binge watching. Oh, Stranger like Things. On, Strange Things is a good one. The game, uh, game on TV series theme tune as well. Oh right. Uh, Will I find my heaven? Weirdly, I think she's in Dumb and Dumber as well, which is right. a bit weird. <laughs> which um, is it is like two years difference. Right. Daredevil has a good theme song, the the the, the Netflix show. Right. Like that one's really good to listen to over and over. Yeah. So when you get to the final episode, it's like really epic. You know, it's like whoa. You know? Yeah. Anyways, um, what else? Is there? Rick and Morty's got a good theme song. Yeah. I've probably mentioned that before. Um. Could could do this for days. I think there's loads. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think the more, more times you watch it as well. Yeah. The more you watch, I'm not even responding to it. The more you watch it, yeah. obviously, the more you like it. Like you say, when you binge watch it. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Like, it, yeah, it like grows series. on you. Yeah. Yeah. Only Fools and Horses. Yeah. yeah. The more you watch it, the more you. Doctor Who? Know it. Yeah. That's classic. Simpsons? I'm, yeah. just, going, I'm just looking around my room now. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. We good? Yeah. Thank Everything you. we spoke about will be in the description. Even the specific tracks we mentioned as well. Yeah, we'll I'll, I'll try. Good. There's loads we'll probably think of afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, as it? usual. Um, but okay, is that yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening. 